Alright, so we're back with another episode of Building Games with Construct 2, and today we're going to talk about uh, publishing your game uh, to a website. So this with Construct 2 is really easy. If you know the details with Construct 2, you know that it produces uh, HTML JavaScript code behind the scenes, even though you don't have to really deal with it when you're creating your game. Uh, it's really nice to use because you can publish it as a website, you can publish it basically in any <coughs> different app store that you want to. Uh, but again, what we're going to focus here on... What we're going to focus on here is publishing to a website, and specifically we're going to use um, Azure websites. So that's what we're going to work with. So I've got a game here, a very simple game called Monkey Sliders. This is one that I've been working on in my spare time. Um, so I'll go ahead and uh, just run this just to show you what it is. Basically, um, all these different levels where you just slide to get to your door, and then eventually you'll see that there's different obstacles here. So you have to slide around and you can only slide until you hit an obstacle and you still have to get to the door. So a pretty simple game and we are going to work on taking that to um, an Azure website. So the first thing we're going to do is I'll go back to the uh, windowsazure.com, the Azure homepage. Um, if you have an Azure account, that's great. If you have, for instance, BizSpark or an MSCM subscription, you might have some Azure, Azure credits that you can use. You can also sign up here for a free trial, so however you want to get started is fine. Uh, but what I'm going to do is go ahead and go to the portal. And once I, uh, you would typically have to log in here, but I'm, I'm already logged in. Um, but what I'm going to do is basically create an empty website. And I'll show you what that looks like. It's really easy. Um, so on this new button in the bottom left, click new, and then compute, and then web app. And then I'll do a quick create, and I'll call this Monkey Sliders 2. I've already got Monkey Sliders um, 1, I guess, uh, just kind of created for myself to be able to test the app with. It's not finished, so even if you try it out, it won't be a finished product. But I'm just going to uh, let this create a new app service plan for me, and then I'm going to choose my region as the East US. Uh, go ahead and click Create here. And you'll see dot 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 it's creating uh, it gives us a little wheel okay now it's running so if I click on this link and open it in a new tab it's gonna just give me basically a dummy page right so it says this app has been successfully created this is a live website now um, and all we need to do is take our files export our construct to game to uh, an, H an HTML5 website basically take those files and just input them into our website so let's go back to our web app and I'm going to click on my website and I'm going to come in to configure I think and what we're going to do is we're going to use Visual Studio online to be able to edit and add our files instead of you could use a bunch of different things to do this uh, but just for this example we're going to come down here and choose to edit in Visual Studio online so we'll say on and then we'll come down and save and this will, again, this will allow us to, inside of our browser, edit the files that are associated with this website. Um, so there, we're good now, everything's saved. And now if I come back to my dashboard, I should see an option right in this area that pops up in a second to edit in Visual Studio Online. Hope you guys saw that, but here it is. Um, so edit this in Visual Studio Online. You can also use WebMatrix, so you would have to download WebMatrix, but WebMatrix will allow you to connect, to connect to your Azure websites and then change your files there. You can do either way. Um, and maybe we'll take a look at both. But for now, I want to edit in Visual Studio Online. This is going to take a second to load. So while this is loading, uh, let's go back over to Construct 2. Let's go to our game and let's do a file, assuming you're done. Uh, let's do a file export project and we want to export as an HTML5 website, really straightforward. Uh, we'll click next and then you can choose whatever uh, location you want to export to. I'll just do a monkey sliders folder on the desktop. Um, do next and normal style is fine with me. Export. This will take a few seconds also. All right, so now it's finished and I can open up the destination folder. And notice I have, we don't really have to know what all of these things are, but I've got all these different files here, right? So these are the files that I literally just need to copy into my website. 
So let me go back to my Azure portal um, and notice that I've got uh, this hosting start.html. That's the file that I have right now. I don't need, and that's the, that's the one that uh, creates this kind of dummy page here. So I can actually delete that one. I'll delete that. All right, and then I'll come into the www root and I'll click on this add file button. It's a little blank sheet of paper with a plus arrow on it. It might show me the, there we go, upload files. So then I'm just gonna go to my desktop to the monkey sliders folder and just control A or however you want to, to grab all of these files. I'm gonna go ahead and open those and these will, uh, it'll take a few seconds obviously here, a lot of files to put in. Uh, but this is going to upload all of those files to my website um, and it looks like it's done and it says it's saved over here so now let's go back to our uh, live website and let's refresh and when we refresh we should see here's the loading icon for our game alright so the game seems to be frozen here on our website so I think I missed one thing let's go back uh, to editing in Visual Studio Online and I need to upload a, load a folder because in the files that I tried to upload one of which was a folder and when you select all it won't actually copy in that folder so let me uh, create a folder here and call it images and then inside of that folder, I'll just copy in all of the images. So these are all of my images that I need. Um, I'll just paste them in here. So let's see if I can do that. So upload files. So I can't just copy and paste. But let's go into images and grab these files and add them in. Let's see if that works. All right, so it took a minute, but here are now all the files that I need. So this should be saved. Let me go back to my Monkey Sliders website. And let me try to run this again. And now it loads and goes to the game. So here I can play the game, uh, start with level one. There we go. So that's, I mean, it's pretty simple, right? To, is if you have an Azure subscription, um, if you want to try it for free, either way, just get set up in uh, Azure. Uh, I mean, it, what the, creating the website is as simple as a uh, new website, give it a name, choose a region, and then you want to allow it to be edited in Visual Studio Online. Then you just copy in those files like we just did. Just copying in those files and your website uh, slash game is ready to go. So one other way that we could have done this is through uh, Web Matrix. So let me actually restart it uh, again so we can kind of start from scratch here. Um, but Web Matrix is a tool that lets you, it's Microsoft Web Matrix. You can down this, download this for free. Um, and basically, you get to log into Web Matrix with, let me pull this over to my main monitor. You get to log in with your Azure account. So here um, is the account that I'm logged in with. Once I'm logged in there, I can click on my sites and see all my sites. And from here, I see Monkey Sliders 2. So I can say, okay, choose that. And then I can use Web Matrix to edit my files just like I did in Visual Studio Online. So those are just kind of two different ways that are pretty easy uh, without having to use uh, Git or something that's a little more technical if you're a beginner. Um, so yeah, pretty basic, pretty quick. Um, and you'll have your, uh, I mean, this has been a nine-minute video, so you'll have your website up and running uh, with your game. After you're finished with your game, you do your export and have your uh, website slash game live and running within 10 minutes. So, uh, cool.